This is highlights from our most recent trip to Belize. We were here for a week, but I've just put together a few of the excursions that we did while we were staying at Hamanasi in the Stan Creek area. Just a little bit ahead. If you stay close to the left hand side of the Welcome to our tree house. Welcome to our tree house. Look at this, how cute. Let's take a look at this awesome shower. Yeah. Iguana don't care. Iguana's like, where's the sun? Biking into Hopkins is one of our favorite things to do when we first come because it gives us a good lay of the land and allows us to see more of the surrounding area outside of just what the resort has to offer. It's only about a mile away from the resort where we were staying, and it's really nice to get out and get some exercise and get to know the town a little bit. This is our first day of diving. We did a total of three days of diving, but we did not bring our camera equipment with us for each of the dives. So we only have a little bit of footage from the first day. We saw a whole lot of nurse sharks pretty much on every dive that we went on. We saw spotted eagle rays both on our first and last day of diving. Our last day, they came a lot closer and were swimming right in between us and it was absolutely beautiful. Here, they're a bit more skittish and they're a little further off in the distance, but still absolutely beautiful to watch. For each of our surface intervals, we spent it on one of the caves watching the pelicans as they dive for their food. morning ritual and tea and the jungle is just starting to wake up we get all the birds starting to make their noises as they greet the sun this is an agouti not to be confused with a gib nut they do look very similar agoutis are essentially big guinea pigs um, that live naturally in the wild and there just so happened to be a den on the resort property with a mama agouti and her two little babies. Our excursion today is going to be rappelling down two waterfalls at Angel Falls. <laughs> Look at the toucan! <laughs> that water's too cold for me. Yeah. 
What we unfortunately did not get on camera here is that we heard what our guide said was a jaguar in the distance attacking some monkeys. So needless to say, we were very quiet during this portion of the hike through the jungle, trying to catch a glimpse or a sound of them. But after that initial ruckus, we didn't really hear much more. That's up uh, of a rock. It's easy to go down. Just okay. grab it, it starts to get your body weight. Rappelling down these waterfalls is probably one of the more dangerous things that we've done together to date. <laughs> your life is literally in the hands of the guides and the equipment, and if anything is to fail, you are going to fall to your death. This is a workout. more difficult than I thought it would. What type of snake is that? Do you know? Coral. Coral snake? Yeah. He's little. This, this one is the black one. Oh, the poisonous one? Because yeah. it's all red. Yellow, black, and red. Ah, oh, shit. How deep is this thing? <laughs> oh, that's pretty deep. Together, they have a combined height of over 400 feet between the two falls, and it was definitely a lot more difficult than I really expected it to be. It took a lot of upper body strength to move the rope through the harness as you worked your way down, especially once the rope started to get wet. It was a lot of fun. I don't know if I would necessarily do it again now that I've done it, but I am glad that we did. And I would not recommend anyone that has any sort of fear of heights or is not physically fit to try this excursion. Pushy. Here. Hey. Don't, don't, just, no, no. <laughs> This is going to be our last day of diving. First dive today, we saw some uh, very friendly nurse sharks. A little too friendly. And some eels and a stingray and a very beautiful school of bluefish. little guys are Kotamunde and there was a troop of around probably 40 of them that just live on the property at the resort and every day after lunch approximately one or two o'clock we would see them running around outside on the ground outside of our treehouse. They are absolutely adorable and super fun to watch. All of our vegetables from every meal have been grown in this garden. We did actually get to see a turtle. 
not the type of turtle I was looking for, but it's a turtle. Hi, moth. You're a big, beautiful moth. Look at you. You want to come down and hang out?